They are 18 years worth of babies born into a post-war world. Our look at the big money out there. What's old is new again. 50s will tell you that they're in early middle age. It's all a matter of perception. The Virginia Boomers, Boomers boomer said that middle age starts at 48 and ends at mid-70s. Matt Thornhill at the Boomer Project. help Project. Boomers fulfill that quest for vitality in any aspect, you will be successful. When it comes to baby boomers, we have to think about where they are in the aging process. And they see the world sort of in shades of gray. Increased sales and increased business by continuing to target this segment. Their generation of folks born between 1946 and 1964. Being the age I am. From beauty to banking, Madison Avenue is finally getting the message. What we're going to talk about today is the boomer opportunity. And I talk about it in broad terms, but for you guys, I'm also going to be very specific for your business and how you interact with producers and their clients on a daily basis. You'll leave here today knowing a whole lot more about how to market to boomers, and I suspect you're going to know a little bit more about yourselves, those of you who are boomers. So when we talk to boomers and we're thinking about what one word could really sum up where their mindset is, what are they really about? Well, it's about this phrase, this viva the vital. It's all about maintaining your vitality as a boomer. How can you maintain your vitality? So maintain your financial vitality, your physical, your mental, your spiritual. You need a filing system, and this is the one that we would suggest you think about. Think about how you can sort trends and make sort of meaning from them back to your company or your organization or your institution. The transition that's going to take place in the next 20 years is a permanent global transition. For a, Since man first walked, we have had more young people and fewer old people. Sure, we have people live to be an old age, but fewer and fewer and fewer. That's not true anymore. We're going to have 72 million people over the age of 65 in 20 years. Right now, there's about 40 million people over the age of 65. That's a big change. That's going to happen globally. At the same time, we're not having as many kids. So the world's going to change. We're going to have a different world in 2030 than we have today. Like, we're moving at such a fast pace, but we have to ask ourselves, you know, what does all this mean? What really is going on here? We have to ask ourselves, what information do we really need to know? You guys just saw probably 400 facts go across that screen in the last two minutes. And we're bombarded every day by facts and statistics and figures. And it's like, what do I really need to know? And secondly, what can help me untangle the madness of just so much information? Everywhere I turn, just information coming at me. What can I do to sort of go through it, sort through it, and get the kernels of truth that really can help me? How do I tame the tangle? In our, one of our surveys, we asked people, when does middle age begin and when does old age begin? Middle age starts at 48 and ends at the mid-70s. So those boomers out there think they're in the first half of middle age. At 60, they don't think they're even old yet. They're in the middle of middle age. That's different. It didn't used to be that way. It's time for us to change some thinking. And the same with this ad. This is a great ad by Nicola Light, and this is focused on uh, a, a gentleman really enjoying the outdoors. This is a lifestyle ad, and the headline is just perfect. If this is your beer, or if this is your idea of a pleasure cruise, then this is your beer, Michelob Light. And we laugh so much around my shop when we look, when we see this ad, we always say, I don't know how he got that guy's head on my body, but they, <laughs> they somehow figured, figured out how to do that. How many of you said that you feel at least 10 years younger than you are? Show of hands. All right, keep them up. 15 years younger, 20 years younger. Okay, the 15 years, 15 year younger, keep your hands up, 15, 15. Everybody look around the room and see whose hands are up. It's the baby boomers, and it's typically baby boomers that are older baby boomers. And as, as Christian said, we've got a book, and we're actually writing a new book because yet another birthday is coming up. January 1st, the first boomer turns 65. The media is going to be all over that. 
Well, what's gonna happen is every day for the next 19 years, boomers are gonna turn 65, 11,000 are gonna turn 65 on average. So we're gonna have a new world come 2030 than we have today, and everybody needs to get age ready.